Hello world, welcome to RoboThoughts Zero to Hero series Robotics and Vision Intelligence on Jetson Nano. Alright guys, we are on lesson number 24 and we are going to learn about ultrasonic detection through ROS serial in Jetson Nano. So I am going to show you a few tricks in a simple way with couple of commands and how to uh, go about installing your uh, 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 ultrasonic sensor through Arduino and serial port into Jetson Nano so that you can start reading the uh, distance detections and stuff like that. So guys, uh, it's, it's, you know, you may actually, there are multiple options to, uh, you know, integrate uh, your ultrasonic sensor into the Jetson GPIO pins here, okay. It's very much possible. I have tried it. You can use it. You can, you know, I can share the circuit, but there is a catch. It's too risky. Okay. Directly, you can take the output from here, connect it to trig and echo pins and the ground pin and the VCC pin. And maybe, you, you know, you may require, uh, may I, uh, say about 330 ohms uh, pull up uh, resistor and you can start playing around, but it's too risky guys, because I have already burnt uh, two Jetson Nano. Uh, you know trying to connect sensors and uh, trying to use gpio pins what happens is basically your your pins gets blocked and you can never release it and sometimes when you power up the reverse current of 5 volt flows into this and you know it just messes up your entire circuitry so the best option which really works great especially for robotics and that is what we are learning today in this series is to use ROS serial okay and you can connect multiple tons of resistors uh, capacitors transistors and external circuits sensors everything through this series of program through ROS serial all right it, it's uh, it's it's safe it's little complex but that's the way we got to do it because we need to get into robotic operating system in a much deeper level right that's what i'm going to uh, show you in the upcoming lessons <coughs> So guys, in, in this particular lesson, I will show you step by step how to install ultrasonic sensor in ROS serial and detect the range which will be processed in Jetson Nano for further actions. All right. So I have, I, let me show you a circuit diagram. So this is a very simple drawing guys. So the trigger pin of ultrasonic sensor connects to your uh, pin number nine of Arduino and the echo pin to pin number 10 and of course the ground goes to the ground and the VCC pin goes to your 5 volt of uh, Arduino all right and then the serial, po serial port is connected to Jetson Nano and this is how my circuit looks like this is the way I connected I just used four simple jumper wires and then I connected to the respective pins as per the drawing and connected my Jetson Nano into the serial port. All right. Now what we will do is I will show you some commands and those commands once we execute this particular ultrasonic sensor will start reading the distance and we are going to grab that into the terminal and I'll show you how it works. All right. So let's do one thing. Let's get into Jetson Nano and I have already logged in. All right. So what we need to do first and foremost, open Arduino. How do we open that? Right click, open terminal. And where is my terminal? It should be somewhere here. Where did my terminal go? That's kind of weird. There you go. It's here and I am going to open up Arduino. A R D U I N O Arduino. And this error is quite normal. Now what you need to do, you need to minimize this window guys. Remember you have to minimize it. Never close any of the windows. Minimize it and then this is my Arduino okay 
and then what we need to do let me just make it little bigger let me just drag it little so that you guys can see the code all right so guys i have saved my code i had written about 15 20 lines of code it's a very straightforward simple code uh, i will share that code through my github link and i'll put it in the description below this video let me open up uh, where is that code okay here it's on my desktop and I have named my code as single ultrasonic and then this is my ino file okay and now my arduino window there you go this is my code so it, it's a pretty simple code guys it's just about you know uh, you, you are calling for the ross.h uh, header file through your loss, ross underscore, underscore uh, live which I showed you how to install in the earlier lessons and then that I am setting the trig pin to pin number 9 digital pin 9 and the echo pin to 10 and there are couple of lines of code to grab the information triggered through your ultrasonic sensor now I am going to load this particular program okay okay before that let us check the port I should be connected to yes ACM 0 and the board of course it's Arduino UNO perfect now let's upload compiling sketch uploading and I can see beautiful blinks all right done uploading now let's minimize Arduino guys you need to minimize it never close any of the terminal nor Arduino okay now now what we need to do guys look into the code I, I had put my explanation line by line okay every line I had put a comment uh, with a forward slash and you can read through that of course you will have to for, for the folks who are totally new to the Arduino world and no idea about C, C++ programming, you may follow my uh, parallel series which I am starting very soon. Okay, that I am going to teach about the basics of C and C++ using Arduino sketch and a microcontroller Arduino. Okay, alright. Now what we need to do, open a new terminal. Open a terminal and my terminal is here okay now i need to launch ros how do we launch ros core okay hit enter and it should say yes see at the bottom all right started core services now what we need to do minimize this window okay do not close it let's minimize this and then let me open up another terminal okay now where is that terminal here okay now what we need to do we already uploaded our code into Arduino okay now we need to publish and subscribe remember that lesson which I taught you earlier right so now we need to call 
for that information which is there inside Arduino and start interacting through serial port, right? But before that, we need to confirm, we need to uh, enable our Jetson Nano to talk to Arduino through the serial port. And how do we do that? ROS ROS run ROS serial underscore python s-c-r-i-a-l serial underscore node okay dot p-y and then space forward slash d-e-v forward slash t-t-y acm0 is my port in your case you need to check guys okay now hit enter once the connectivity establishes there you go set up publisher on chatter publish buffer size 280 requesting topics all right guys now we are ready to launch the ROS topic and then we will call for the publisher all right guys now we are ready so let's minimize this window now where is my mouse let me open it up here this is kind of weird sometimes the mouse it just gets hung okay there you go all right now open up another terminal a new terminal and where is that new terminal let's minimize this okay and where is my new terminal it's here all right now what we need to do we need to execute the ROS topic so that it starts communicating with the ultrasonic sensor and grab the distance detection all right now let's see what happens ROS topic echo chatter I hope it works there you go guys fantastic look at it look at it look at it now let me just switch my window and can you see this guy this is the data which has been grabbed from your ultrasonic sensor and is detecting the distance all this number 242 243 dot uh, the float values it's basically the distance it's showing between the sensor and my surrounding environment so let me just go in here uh, where is my terminal there you go one second guys this act sometimes it's really tedious to adjust multiple screens and show you to you guys but I am having fun let me try to grab the screen and then okay so now this is the serial output okay now can you see uh, guys when I what happened the system got hung uh, okay looks like the data grabbing got stopped that's fine let's execute 
the command again so I am going to close this Hold on a second guys, it's acting weird. Okay, let me close this terminal and restart the program again. Okay, I'm just closing it. It's not getting closed. Oops, it's kind of looks like it's in a hung state why am i not able to close it this is kind of acting weird let me just open another terminal and just check if it runs i hope it should because there is a duplicate terminal already running Now let's see ROS topic echo chatter. There you go. <clears throat> so this is working fine. And let me change the direction of my ultrasonic sensor. Yeah, so can you see, guys? I'm, I'm just putting my hand in front of the sensor, and it says zero in between 13, 16. I can just uh, you know wave around and the distance between the sensor and the object in between that's what the reading shows this is working fantastic guys no doubt about it no doubt about it let me yeah there you go all right <clears throat> let me show you the reading now so this is my sensor can you see guys the reading changes see now it is 25 27 and odd there you go can you see 6 7 10 perfect it's detecting absolutely fantastic all right guys this is all about this lesson uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this and it's pretty uh, simple just follow the circuit connect your ultrasonic sensor to pin number 9 and 10 you, you may use any of the digital pin guys it, it's it really doesn't matter but you need to change those pins in the code right so do follow along and uh, practice this uh, the next upcoming lessons i'll be showing you multiple other sensors and slowly we will get into controlling the motors dc motors uh, in one of the chapters I showed you how to control a uh, servo motor similar way we will be controlling DC motor but we will be using some external devices like drivers and stuff like that right so the motor drivers I'm talking about uh, that's where we are heading to once we reach there then I will show you how to install and configure tele -op. it's it's a it, it's another ROS package uh, where you can control the motion of the motor uh, through your keyboard all right and then we can start grabbing information from the ultrasonic sensor and couple of other sensors and make sure that the environment is detected and then i showed you how to integrate lidar and t265 uh, 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 intel uh, tracking camera so we will be grabbing those information as well so guys it's going to get a little complex but i do not worry i am going to walk you through step by step slow and study okay just keep watching all right guys that's it for today do give me a thumbs up and subscribe below bye bye